Good evening, Butler High School families. Welcome to this edition of Be Informed, where we are answering your questions to make sure that you are in the know for Butler High School. Let me begin with an introduction of our admin team for those of you who are new to Butler High School. I am Dr. Blakeney. I am your principal. We have assistant principal of instruction, Ms. Panky. Good evening, Butler family. Assistant principal, Ms. Booth. Good evening, Bulldogs. Assistant principal, Mr. Price. Hello, Bulldog families. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. We have our Dean of Students, Mr. Dodson. Hello, Bulldog Nation. Athletic Director, Coach Satterfield. Good evening, Bulldog family. And our Instructional Accountability Facilitator, Mr. Riley. Good evening, everybody. So thank you, admin team. So for this year, our theme here at Butler High School is pursuing excellence. And as a part of that pursuit, we will record and share uh, these Be Informed sessions with you throughout the year, again, to make sure that you are in the know of what's going on here at Butler High School. So we are going to get started now with your questions. Good evening, everyone. So one question that a lot of parents have been concerned about is how and when can they access their schedule or the students themselves accessing their schedule. Uh, student schedules are currently available in a number of ways. Uh, schedules were mailed with our back to school mailer earlier in August as a paper copy. Uh, schedules are available to be viewed at any time in PowerSchool digitally. Uh, and also whenever your students start on Monday, August 28th, uh, as the first day of school, they will report to homeroom and will receive a paper copy of their schedule there. If you do not have access currently to PowerSchool, uh, please feel free to contact our front office at 980-343-6300 in order to receive more information on how to set up your account. Thank you. All right, so next, the next question that has come up in regards to schedule changes. So how can I change my classes? This is a hot topic as we gear up for the 23-24 school year and students and parents alike want to know what must I do if I want a schedule change? So what we are asking families to do is to click on the student services webpage or homepage from our Butler school site. Once you do that, scroll down to the bottom where you will see a list of our counselors. Remember Bulldogs counts or students are assigned by Alpha, okay? So find your last name, click on your counselor, and under there, click under the schedule change request. Once you pull up the schedule change request, that is when you will, you know, let the counselor uh, know what it is that you're requesting to change. All right. And so families just keep in mind, there are a couple of reasons why students are permitted schedule changes. Number one, if a pre prerequisite is needed for that class. Number two, if the student has taken and passed that class already and received course credit for that class. Number three, if the class is needed for graduation, especially for our class of 2024 um, graduates. And then number four, if students are looking to move up a level. So move from honors to stand or standard to honors, honors to AP or even standard to AP, okay? So thank you all for uh, your questions in regards to schedule change requests. Remember, report to our student services page, click on the link and fill out the form. Families, please be patient with our counselors as it's just six of them trying to fill out the request. They are going through and moving through those requests as quickly as possible. Thank you. Okay, so our next question was in regards to what is the best way to stay in touch with what's going on at Butler High School? We have multiple methods. Um, the first way is Parent Square. You may have used this at your middle school or another school in the area. Um, and this is a great way for two-way communication between any staff member and parents and students. So we've been sending out invitations. Once you're registered, you'll no longer get an invitation. But when you get your invitation, please also activate your account because you'll receive information, but you can't respond if you don't accept your account. The second way is email. 
our staff has an expectation to reply to all emails within 48 hours. Um, so please expect that. And if you're not getting a reply in a timely manner, please reach out to a member of the admin team to get support. And last but not least, um, our website is a great place to see what's going on and what has been happening, as well as all of our Instagram accounts. We have Instagram accounts for Butler High School, our athletics, and many other clubs and happenings. So please um, look, find us on Instagram. The next question that came in is, what if my parent square is not working? Who do I contact? And the answer is me. Um, I highly recommend you email me at the following email address. Um, because that way I can see where you are emailing me from, which helps me troubleshoot if you have a typo in your email in PowerSchool. When you email, please include your student's name and grade level, share the email address you want the account to be linked to, and once I tell you the invite has been sent, please check your junk and spam folder if you do not see it, because sometimes the invite does go to that location. All right, another question we have is, will students be using lockers this year? What is the protocol to get a locker? Yes, students will be assigned lockers for gym classes only. Uh, you may purchase a school locker based on the information below. Students who would like a locker will be able to get them through the following process. You need to go to OSP, Online Student Payments, and pay $5, which can be found on the school's website. Once that payment is received, students will need to see Coach Deegs for their locker. There are fees listed on OSP, gym uniform, gym locker, locker, et cetera. Which one should be paid prior to the first day of school? If you have communicated with your child's teacher at freshman orientation or here at walk your schedule day and you've received a list of supplies, then you should pay those fees listed above prior to the first day of school. If you cannot pay those fees prior to the first day of school, we highly recommend that you pay them as soon as possible. And that way you can have access to those items that are listed above. Thank you. The next question we received was about where can we find out about driver's education and getting those kids behind the wheel. Now that's a scary thought for some of us, but uh, driver's education information can be found on the Butler High School website under activities. You can also find a link to go directly there on the parent student quick links using the QR code below. This is also the same QR code that was sent home on your child's schedule. So you can access that throughout the year for any up to date information to stay abreast of what we have going on at Butler High School. All right, the next que question that we received was uh, how do you sign up for sports that don't require a tryout? Well, let's uh, clarify that all sports have some form of a tryout. Um, and then if you can answer these questions here, is Butler High School my home school? If so, can you provide a proof of residency? Uh, do you know your student ID number? And do you have a valid physical? Uh, and then if you're a dual enrolled, which is which is possible, such as Levine and Northwest School of the Art, um, do you have the name of your registrar and your counselor? So if you can answer all of those questions, uh, feel free to email me your first and last name, your full name, okay? So if you have three names, four names, five names, please include all of that along with your student ID number uh, at my email address, which is listed on this uh, slide deck here. Thank you so much. Look forward to uh, working with you. Okay, pulled off family. So that is it. Thank you so much for your time. Continue to submit those questions in the future and we will continue to keep you informed. Have a wonderful evening.